Hello everyone. I apologize for the angle I'm filming this at. Um, still haven't really fixed um, my laptop to be able to do my videos on it yet. But anyway, this is my blog for The Masked Singer. I'm today going to be talking about, we're on season eight, right? Oh golly, I believe so. Yep, season eight. And I'm talking about episode three. It occurred to me last night as I was trying to go to sleep or realistically bright and early this morning, like, oh my gosh, they didn't have the mask singer at all last week, and I still have not done my vlog for episode three yet, so I'm going to do it before the episode comes on tonight. Hopefully it's on tonight. I know there was a ball game on last week that kept it from being able to be on. That being said, um, so according to Nick, all three of the people will perform, and, and I went back and watched episode two, and I was like, oh, Harp did totally perform again on there. I don't know how I missed that, but I did. So anyway, and then uh, people will vote on them in the top two, do the battle royale. And I said that I don't think that's how it worked on episode two. <laughs> and then I went back and I watched it and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. So that was what they did. So anyway, um, the episode was, um, I can't, show tunes, um, I can't think of, theme songs. Yes, theme songs, like TV theme songs and stuff like that. So it started out with a, a tribute to Alan Thicke, um, who is Robin's dad, and Robin sang the theme song, I believe it was from Thrilling Pains. Um, but yeah, that was really nice. I really liked that. And so they did have two new characters. The first one was the mummies, which consisted of three people. It showed a ship. It, it showed uh, ship wheels, like the steering wheel from a ship, and palm trees. Um, oh, yes, and they're having a semi-final, so Harp will go up against other people um, who are the king or queen um, at that point in the semi-final. I didn't realize that that was going to happen. I either thought I'd mention that. Um, so they, it said something about iconic, and they showed a house blueprint. It said we watched them growing up and may consider them part of our family. It showed some bases. It showed Fox, um, AKA Wayne Brady from The Masked Singer, of course. They said they've been off the beat for a while. It's what they're most famous for. And it showed Tiger Pop magazine cover, which is like Tiger Beat, I'm assuming, um, or symbolizing that. There were some movie tickets, so I'm like, so they made a movie, or at least one of them did, right? And they said they're back together for another reunion, and I was like, <laughs> is it the Eagles? Don't really think so, but totally made me think of the Eagles. They've had a few reunions, um, so I have some other groups for that matter. And they sang the theme song from the Monkees show, which I really liked, and they did, they did a good job. I thought all of them on this uh, episode, on episode three, did a good job, personally. Um, and then they did a extra clue for them, which Tori Spelling brought out, and it said, Blended Berry Bros Smoothie Packets, which I kind of forgot about whenever I decided on who I thought that they were, um, just for the record. So, let me think. Um, blended Berry Bros Smoothie Packets. There were blackberries and raspberries. Um, and they said, one of them said it's good for the soul. Another said it's refreshing and classic. And, or no, one of them said it's good for the soul. Another said it's refreshing. And then the other one said classic. And the smoothies aren't, are pretty good too. So, um, one of them, I'm wanting to say maybe it was Nicole Scherzinger guessed the Brady, the guys from the Brady Bunch. Or... Maybe it was Ken. I don't remember. I should have written that down. But anyway, one of them guessed the guys from the Brady Bunch, which I really liked and later on decided, um, you know, their dad was an architect and Tim Allen and Home Improvement um, did Home Improvements, of course. So I decided to go with Home and the boys from Home Improvement instead, forgetting about the Barry Clue, of course. Um, and I also, for a while, considered some of, um, like, I'm considering Goldbergs on everything here, um, the 
berry clue for the smoothies, um, the berries, made me think it could perhaps be JTP from the Goldbergs, um, Barry and, yeah, I'm not going to remember the other guys' names, um, uh, yeah, can't think of their names, but there is a guy, the one, the blonde-haired guy that's on the Goldbergs, there's a guy that lives in the, the area that I live in, the Oklahoma City area that has the same name as him, <laughs> and I'm always thinking to myself, um, hmm, I wonder if he's that actual guy, he's in his late 50s, so I'm like, I think it could be. So anyway, the next um, person was the fortune teller, who I considered Barry Goldberg for, for a minute. The guy that plays for him, I'll talk more about that in a minute here. Um, but anyway, the next one was fortune teller. Said um, they grew up and watched TV in Queens. I really loved my guest for this. But anyway, said they grew up and watched TV in Queens. Um, and then they showed a building similar to the one on Full House or The Cosby Show, like a town, the, um, a series of townhouses, sort of Victorianish style. And they said they had visions of being a big music king, but wasn't the best singer, so they tried to make it as a dancer. And then I was like, Carlton? Um, you know, Carlton from Fresh Prince, because he's known for the Carlton dance. And there was a business card uh, and in relation to him trying it as a dancer, he said he got beat out by Jermaine Dupree. So I'm like, okay, so it's someone that was on Dancing with the Stars that got beat by Jermaine Dupree, and I've not watched that in quite some time, so I don't know who that would be, right? Um, but he said his mother helped him break into the industry, and then it showed a jackpot thing. Now, this is what made me think of Barry Goldberg, um, because he, he said that he tried being big um, in music, being a big music king, and Barry on the Goldbergs, anyone that watches it knows, tried having a, he had a band and tried singing. He wasn't doing that good at it. Erica was the one that was singing and doing real good at it. Um, so his mom on there, Beverly Goldberg, suggested that he dance, dance instead because he was always doing some dance moves so he did start doing that instead so that's what made me think of him and um, he said everyone wanted a dash of him in their music videos and at that point i'm like hmm okay mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't know who you are maybe in the name i don't know and so it showed an angel a really pretty angel he said he got an unusual or an unusual offer came in while he was keeping up with the Kardashians, and I went, hmm, Kendrick Lamar, could be a lot of people, um, but so he said, um, if not for them, he might have missed out, he moved on up, um, and then he sang the song from the Jeffersons, which I was hoping he was going to after saying that he moved on up, but yeah, um, he did, he sang the song from the Jeffersons, and as I said, I think that they all did a good job. So, I decided that he was Alfonso Ribeiro, who played for Carlton on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, because he was born in the Bronx. And then, um, for his extra clue, Jody Sweeten brought it out. Um, she's from Full House, and it was really good to see her on there. And his clue was New York Fresh Pizza Dough. And I thought, you know, the fresh, I guess we were supposed to think this. The fresh made me think Fresh Prince. So I was like, yeah, it's got to be Carlton, right? <laughs> so anyway, he said, with a, he said, quote, with a little time, you too can turn dough into your own piece of pie, end quote. And um, they, there was a clothing rack that they showed, which I didn't really see, but one of the panelists mentioned it. So, um, I did a little bit of research and discovered that Alfonso Ribeiro did host Dancing with the Stars, and several of the Kardashians have been on there, um, but Scott Dysick, who dated one of the Kardashians, or was engaged, possibly even married, I think, to Khloe Kardashian, um, was on there also on Dancing with the Stars while <laughs> Alfonso Ribeiro was hosting it, as a matter of fact. Um, but I loved Ken's guess on this one, and, I, and I'm thinking that he's the one that guessed Scott Dysick 
Oh, no, he gets the uh, fashion designer guy that I don't remember his name. But, um, anyway, um, fashion mogul type guy. But I loved his guess, but I was pretty sure that all of the ones on this season were going to be people that the panel has guessed regular, regularly over time or viewers have guessed regularly over time. So it's Alfonso Rivero because they're always guessing him, you know. And then so the harp did perform, as I mentioned a while ago. Um, they did a review of her clues, and there was a new one, which was a Christmas cupcake. Um, and she called this Christmas cupcake a very delicious clue. Now, if you watch the Goldbergs, you know that Beverly Goldberg is always calling her children delicious, especially Barry. Um, actually, possibly more so Adam, but she does call Barry delicious. So that made me think of Beverly Goldberg again, whom I'd already thought of, um, which is Wendy McClendon Covey. And she was also on Reno 911, which I had forgotten. And she sang the theme song to the Golden Girls, which I really liked that she did that. Um, she did very well. And as I said earlier, they all did good, in my personal opinion. And I said, I must have slept through her performance on episode two. <laughs> and then, like I said, I went back and watched it. And I was like, oh, yeah, she did do another performance. I don't know how I missed that. But anyway, Tori Spelling brought out her extra clue again. And it was purple mashed potatoes. Okay. it can, This could be leading to a lot of people. It could be leading to a celebrity chef. It could be leading to a singer, an actress. It's hard to no, you know, but Beverly Goldberg makes a lot of mashed potatoes on the show. Um, it's kind of one of her signature dishes, if you will. And she said, I mean, who doesn't love a good mashed potato? Which I feel like Beverly Goldberg says often on the show. Um, so I'm really thinking that she is Wendy McClendon Covey. I could be wrong, and I do realize that. Um, she said it's not necessarily, she said that she's not necessarily in a business that celebrates your talents. And I'm like, so to a lot of people, that makes it sound like she's not an actress, perhaps. But I believe that Wendy McClendon Covey had made a comment recently about how the industry um, celebrates the talents of some people more than others. And, like, she feels like women are under-rewarded for their work in the industry. So, I still feel like it could very well be her. So, the first one to be revealed was the mummies. I thought it should have been the um, fortune teller, but it was the mummies. And I did, as I said, guess the boys from Home Improvement, um, which is Taryn Noah Smith, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, and Zachary Ty Bryan. I was like, I forgot they all three go by three names, <laughs> but anyway. Um, and I noted, you know, I really did like the Brady Boys guest too, and that was who they turned out to be. Um, I'm not even going to think of their names. Barry Williams is the one that played for Greg Brady, and that's the Barry clue that I forgot about, or I might have gone with them <laughs> instead of Home Improvement. But anyway. And um, so then Harp and Fortune Teller sang the Full House theme song. He sang the original. She slowed it way down. They were both good. Ironically, my other thought for him, as I said, was Troy Gentile, who plays Barry Goldberg. I was trying to think of his name a while ago. Yeah, Troy Gentile um, was my other thought for the Fortune Teller. Um, Bear, because... As I've said, Barry tried singing, then Beverly suggested that he dance instead. The harp moved on, so she's the first semi-finalist of the season, so on tonight's episode, assuming it comes on, we will have, I'm guessing, three new people um, who will be singing, and the fortune teller turned out to be Damond John, which is who Ken guessed, the fashion mogul guy. Um, I believe he dabbles in a little bit of different stuff like house flipping and cooking and various stuff like that. So yeah, he did turn out to be Damond John, so Ken was right. And my final guess, of course, was Alfonso Ribeiro. And this guy I had never heard of, did not know him, but he did do a good job of... Um, singing his song was pretty entertaining. So, 
The harp said she always loved seeing her and Nicole's names together was what she said. And um, she didn't say performing together. She said she always loved seeing their names together. And Wendy, Wendy McClendon Covey and Nicole Scherzinger have attended several of the same events. In fact, recently they attended an event that I'm not going to remember what it was. I meant to make, I meant to write it down when I made that note, but there was an event that they recently attended. Um, they both attended the same charity event, I believe it was, um, possibly having something to do with COVID relief. Um, I say recently, I think it was like in January or February of this year, but I'm still thinking that a harp is probably Wendy McClendon Covey and we'll find out eventually if it's her i do kind of hope that she goes on and wins the whole shebang um because that would just be really cool to see my sister thinks that she is nicole yvette brown um somebody who, oh i um i think it was my son when i was watching it and saw her kind of from a distance said well i mean couldn't she be kelly clarkson which was what i thought at one point myself, but she doesn't sound like Kelly Clarkson to me. But anyway, that's all I have for right now. So everyone have a great whatever time of night or day it is in your part of the world. Stay safe, stay positive, and if it's on tonight, enjoy watching The Masked Singer live. I will try to do my video either tomorrow or Friday, may possibly wait till Saturday, um, since I won't be babysitting that day. But um, I watch it on Hulu, so I always watch it a day late. Um, but yeah, peace out people.